Hello everyone, we're gonna have a pretty quick video today. This is gonna be a our boiler rooms. And as we get into this, I guess I'm gonna say it, because I mean Yeah, I guess I wanna see some growth at some point. Like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's annoying, but whatever. Alright, so we've done the turret interiors, we've done the engine rooms, but now we need something very, very important. Our boilers. So to do our boilers, we need to find the boiler room size. I, like I said, I always do these out of hull. Because doing them out of hull gives you a little more area to work with. Like I, For example, I know right here is going to be red wool. I don't have to worry about that. This is 14 long, if I remember... The actual engines are 16, so yeah. So 14 by 7. They're going to be the same width as the engine rooms. Meaning, we can ha happily just put them back here. It's 14 by 7. Correct. Just oh, I always like to double check. All right, there we go. All right. So for these, you can actually probably set up the floor. Is this getting chiseled? So we already have our boilers. And I'm very quickly going to open up drawings that I have. So, all right. Okay, so I noticed something. There's definitely a walkway on the top of these boilers. Oh. Hold well, on, I gotta check something real quick. Sorry about that. I was checking some audio stuff. So, let's get back to it. All right, so from what I could tell, there is actually a walkway at the top of this, which would, might explain how you get into these engine rooms. Alrighty, so yeah, there might be a slight change here where there's a ladder up into a doorway. Not a doorway, but like a, a walkway. All right, so now we're going to start with the boilers. The boiler rooms are fairly simple. Like, extremely simple. So, we already made our boilers, and this is why I pre-make all my boilers. Because it makes it easy to use them. So, we kind of come over here. And looking at the boiler room, I'm going to leave a one-block space... There. Hmm. Oh. That might be a thing. So, I just noticed something. I think I screwed up the boiler video. These should be wider, not longer. So, okay. That, I can really easily fix that. That's not very hard. So, if you want your boiler to be wider... Need my night vision closure.
That makes a lot of sense, honestly. You know, even I make mistakes when it comes to these designs. It's not nothing to be ashamed. Nothing to be ashamed about is screwing up something. We always make those little mistakes. There we go. Now the re I actually think there was a reason I did that, though. So I'm going to make a quick check. And if there was an actual reason I did that, then I might have to switch these back. For now, bam, bam. Let me look up. Because I saw the actual boilers. I, I, I was able to look at the actual... The actual, like, uh, the boilers they used. Because it's actually not that hard to find those specific boilers. So, pin. Pin hut. That's a Yaro. Yeah, that's fine. It could be a little <laughs> wider. I was just kind of being a little weird, I guess. Anyhow, so we have one of those. I'm going to copy real quick. I'm going to do slash rotate 180 slash slash paste. Oop. There we go. It's not touching the walls. All right. So that that's the real basic part right here. The two boilers are down. You can use boiler glass. So boiler, there's boiler windows in this. So I like to put them on the outside, not where you're interacting directly with the sign. All right, there. So let me go back to looking at my schematic. Oh, that's interesting, actually. So we're going to have to make two versions of this boiler room. So let me add the walkway. I think it should probably be right there then. I'll be the first to admit, my, uh, I'm not the best at boiler rooms. Because oftentimes, my boiler rooms end up being extremely cramped. And I'm going to show you how to do piping real quick. So, with boilers, you can either put the piping here, here, but that's not where I like to put them. my piping. I like my piping to be safe. But for the case of this build, I think I won't do that. 
I think I'll do this. Words in the ceiling. Just for the case of this build, I'd use. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd usually actually like to put the piping under, so you can actually put the pipes under the magma. But I prefer for this build that I don't do that. I need to make this a walkable area, so that gives me an idea. do have an idea. All things considered, that makes maintenance easier. Oh. Jeez, my throat does not like me right now. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. And then... A head? Yes, it is. This little area right in between will be an engineering area. So, this is going to be slightly different for the other engine rooms. I mean, the other boiler rooms, because there's something really specific about these. For some reason, and don't ask me why, they have different orientations. So this would right here would be the let me see. The forward boiler. Got all the way up here. Which would actually mean I would want the piping to go back. Like that. And I'd probably make it so these engines supplied I mean, these boilers supplied one engine, and another in boiler supplied another. So, did I put the steam engines in here? I did. But we still need auxiliary diesels. Which I don't think go in here. So, no, we're going to have, down here, is going to be all of our lockers. And workstation. So, I need to grab this. This and this. Alright. So we got workbench right here. Workbench right here. Right that. We could just do a full work table like that. Then put that there. Make this side lockers. Like this. Ooh, I actually like this. Then over here, telegraph. You need these to tell. Your boiler crews, what they're doing. And right here. This is probably going to be actual first shine equipment sign here. 
And right here would not be a nav. What you want is a helm sign, because that will tell you what speed you're going and everything. All right, so back here, I want to put some uh, maintenance lockers. Because there's no cargo in this room yet. So cargo. It's always good to put some cargo down. And this area is clear to walk through, so... Maybe make it so you walk through this area. Yeah. I might do... Yeah, I think I am going to do that. Bring in the cargo. This is probably not that accurate. I'm not going to lie to any of you. But it works. And when I can only really go off of an image that's kind of blank... Other than the fact that the boilers are there, it's kind of what I end up doing. I'm just trying to make stuff functional over. So we're going to do something here because I do see that. There is something I do see on this side. I'll leave that clear for now because I'm not sure... This is just guardrails. Now, these guardrails aren't very air efficient, is the thing. So, d to decide if you want to use them or not is completely up to you. I like using them. I like having guardrails. And I just remembered. I just figured out what I could do with this cargo. I did actually. Yeah, so trying to fit the cargo right now is the issue. Look over here it had a nice little cranny to fit under. But I don't know where to fit it here, other than that top area. Let me look at this again. Hmm, I think there is actually. A walking deck. But I could be wrong. And how do you get up? That's a good question. I think I'm actually going to leave this like that. Instead, put one of these guys down. Hmm, no. It's too inaccessible. It needs to be able to get up quick. Right here, that could work, though. Meaning that is actually a really long line of, uh... Those stairs. Hmm. So I actually don't know what I'm probably going to do for next video, so... You know how I said comment, I can subscribe, all that stuff earlier? Well, there, there we go. I think that is what I want you to comment about. What should we do for the next video? Because 
We're running out of machinery stuff to do. So I need to figure out something different. Alright, I want to make actual cargo lockers, though. Which means I might have to delete this part right there. Of the boilers, but that's okay, because I gave myself the space. So yeah, we're going to have a cargo locker here. Uh, interior door, interior door. Put it right there. Cargo. Hmm. <laughs> and push it back to here. A very big line of cargo. It doesn't need to be that big. I think three and three is fine. Yeah, I could just do nah. That's six cargo blocks right there. Cap that off. Cap that off. And I'll probably do some edits to this stuff later. So I'm not sure how much I am enjoying this look. Might look better in an actual rumor, it might not. That is the chance, I guess. For now we'll do that. Or no, we can just straight up do that. Alright. Yeah, it is a little difficult to navigate this also. Pump. So I should have been showing you these guys, these pumps, for a while. But uh, I haven't been. We'll do it in the floor, but it's less effective in the floor. So do understand that if you want it to look nice and you put it in the floor, it's actually going to do less. I am trying to go a little bit for looks here. so You won't be able to get back there, which just leaves a, a large space of air. And I'll probably change this to full blocks. It would give this area a little more protection and leave that air. All right. I don't know if I should put anything else in here. Some buttons, maybe. But that is it, essentially. I know this one was really short. But, I mean, there isn't really too much to do with these boiler rooms. There's some... You can get some really fancy looking boiler rooms, and I'm not re very great at those. But this is the kind of boiler room I can do. And I, it has function, it has a lot of cargo, and that's one of the main things I care about, is having a very cargo-filled boiler room. So, again, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, the comment being, this time around, actually having something for you to comment. What rooms I should do next. I would prefer to keep it on the lower level, so maybe like refrigeration and paint lockers. If you're going to do like small rooms, like refrigerators, tell me to do multiple. Like, uh, let's say refrigeration suite with a wine cat, a wine room or something like that. So I have more stuff to work off of and yeah. I hope that I've been sounding more confident each video as each video goes along, but I know that's not completely possible, so... But I will hopefully get to the point where I don't stammer over my words, but who knows when that will be. 
So I, I really appreciate you guys watching this stuff. And I it's because I enjoy this stuff a lot. Uh, my finals and my final projects are over. So that means some good stuff for you guys. It means I won't have to uh, wake on Friday anymore. So yeah, I think I think this is done. And the other two, one of them is just literally swapped where this where this guy and that guy, this one's to the right and this one's to the left. And one of them's both in line, so I'd assume if I go look at the plans. Uh let me go see. It's to the right, so the, the ones the ones that are in line are a little bit to the right, so I'll probably place those to the right. I'm actually happy with how this lower level turned out, because I usually don't get these lower levels. I usually have a singular level on my board rooms, so it's kind of cool that I get one of these. Anyhow, I know I've been rambling long enough. There should be a stream next Friday. And I hope you guys enjoyed a ton. And, uh, bye-bye.